Hey friends, what really happens to bodies after death? They become food for super tiny germs and the body begins to rot. It's twice as fast when exposed to air. The human body contains 70% of water. So when the body is moist, tiny germs feel quite cozy and munch on quicker. The Egyptians, as cool as they were, found a way to preserve the dead bodies. We call them mummies. They removed all the moisture from the body and the whole process took around 70 days. Preserving is important, otherwise these tiny germs would eat up even our food. Uh-oh! Well, all you've ever learned in life is that food keeps you going. But the same food you eat could also harm you. Yes, spoiled food. Preserving food was important even in the past. Let's go back in time and see how they preserved food when there were no food preservatives, let alone any electricity. In the ancient days, they used to preserve food by drying in the hot sun. What about really cold places which didn't get enough sunlight? How did they preserve food? By doing the exact opposite. Yes, freezing is another way to preserve food. But they didn't have any refrigerators during those days. So how did they do that? They used huge ice boxes to help keep food fresh for days. And I'm sure you won't be able to crack the next way of preserving. Burying. All this while you thought burying would be a way that worms could eat your food or decompose them, right? But you'll be surprised. People buried their food in containers to prevent them from spoilage by light and oxygen. The number one enemies of food spoilage. Locking the food in an airtight container or a box to prevent extremely tiny germs entering it was another way to preserve your food. There's a cool word for it. It's called canning. But what if germs already got into your food before canning? Don't worry, Mr. Lewis Pasteur found the perfect solution for us. He found a way to kill those germs in the food by heating it. So you see, there are many ways you could protect your food from spoilage. So eat fresh and stay healthy.